no shame, impervious to disgrace. To be honest, um, I'm, I'm not Australian. I'm not a gold digger. Make me beautiful duets. <laughs> Oops, sorry, America. You know, the show has been kind of boring. I've been watching it on TV. Like my body. Some people don't like me. <laughs> I don't understand. Anna Nicole Smith makes our job so easy. Noted for her marriage to an 89-year-old billionaire who she met as a topless dancer, this former Playboy model holds the title as being one of Hollywood's most shameless and infamous celebrities. Her questionable marriage to oil tycoon J. Howard Marshall II in 1994, a man 60 years her senior, saw her remain low profile with her wheelchair-bound husband until his death 14 months later. Although he had left Anna Nicole with an inheritance, his heirs accused her of mistreating him in his last few days and not marrying him for the right reasons. I'm not a gold digger. I could have married him a week after we met. I didn't. She was not mentioned in any of his wills, but claimed that he offered her half of his money to speed up her decision to marry him. And with his fortune estimated at more than 1.6 billion, how could she say no? After a bitter court battle between Anna and Marshall's son, she was rewarded 450 million in 2000, but this was later reduced by a federal district judge and then thrown out altogether. So poor Anna Nicole got nothing. Her exploits were turned into reality TV when the Anna Nicole show was brought to the public. You want to go straight back to the I want to go have an orgy. I haven't had sex in two years. <laughs> Much well, of the focus was that Anna Nicole had become you. obese after falling out of the public eye and was in a precarious financial state after lavish spending sprees and the battle for her deceased husband's fortune. Her drunken performance at the 2004 American Music Awards made headline news. I was honoured to be on our next performer's new video. And if I record an album, I want this guy to produce my... The curvaceous celebrity said the teleprompter was badly positioned and she couldn't find the word and fluffed the whole line, denying she was drunk or on drugs, as many had thought. I'm reading off the teleprompter, right? As, as I'm reading, I'm coming up and I'm, I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this word. So I'm reading and I go down and I, I, I go down to look to get the, get this one word. I go down, I can't find the word. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. I go up to get the word. I can't find it. So I'm like, oh, beautiful music <laughs> or whatever it was. Flopped the line, missed it. Oops. The trashy tabloid queen was back in the headlines, only this time she was the one reporting the gossip when she became a columnist for the National Enquirer magazine. It wasn't long ago that she had graced the pages of that very same tabloid, but admitted she only took the job because she wanted people to like her. I, I just wanted to voice my opinion out there and uh, get uh, people to um, know me a little bit better. Because, you know, I heard that they took a poll and some people don't like me. <laughs> Credited as being one of the most popular Playboy playmates of the year, it's hard to believe Anna Nicole Smith was, in the mid-90s, the epitome of the classic voluptuous blonde. It seems shameless controversy is what she likes best, as she shocked the Australian MTV Music Awards audience by pulling her dress down to her waist to expose her breasts. Classy, 